is to be elucidated. What? Uh, what is to be elucidated? What is to be heard? Um, so I think that it's um, shedding light on a musical experience, which is kind of odd because the distance there between seeing something and hearing something is part of So are you, are you suggesting that aliens could or could not actually make any sense? Oh, um, record? I'd say they could make sense. I mean, uh, uh, I'm sure Carl Sagan secretly knew something. And that was the so really in contact he, with aliens. He already knew the context within which the deconvolution would have to happen. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. So there are two fundamental forms of transmission that we understand. There might be more. I don't know. There may be forms that I'm just being stupid about. But yeah, photonic and phononic. And sound is phononic, as you might gather from the word phone in it. And um, that's the purpose of the little bumps on the record is to produce sound and it's transmitted by or transmitted uh, in Latin, it's pretty obvious where that comes from or transduce which is means drawn across so it has to be uh, led across it has to be uh, turned from bumps which is a physical thing I guess unless they taste like something I don't know it all really depends so you can assume that if they were to apprehend and then comprehend somehow that there would be some response from them. In other words, the things that we call senses are the things that sense things. Um, and you know, like, like the olfactory sense is strictly a, the shape of a molecule snugly fitting into a receptor in the olfactory region of the face. I think it's inside it, but not outside it. I think it'd look really funny. Um, and if there's... I mean, here's an example of confusing phenomena with the tonic. They're gold, they're shiny. You could hold it up to the light. The records. The records, yeah. You could hold it up to the light in various space, and they may have such sensitive, um, uh, haptic sense that their sense of movement is equally responsive. They could move it in a particular way. Uh, that, uh, it shines the light in their we'll call them eyes, meaning then that detects electromagnetic radiation. So that could happen, for instance. In the sequence, um, trying to determine where where this note came from, because it's quite separated. An explanation would then struggle to locate that, and the task would be to locate that particular note. In fact, someone might have had this theory that, a hypothesis, I should say, that there is some connection between these two notes. Maybe there's one piece in the world that has that as an example, and so that's hunted for. It's good theory, but it's very specific theory. So we were talking earlier about this notion of uh, an Pythagorean periphrasis. Yeah, the periphrasis. This, 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 that, um, that this notion that the universe exists in this kind of mixed state, but that with a kind of proper algorithm it would be possible to unmix it. So what do you think aliens would do if they found a record? <laughs> they had this notion that somehow they'd be able to play them? Okay, if they found it, then I would try and work out how that record got there. Me, looking onto the situation hypothetically, uh, obviously, the spaceship didn't crash enough for the thing to dis or, uh, to mount. Um, so we can make assumptions about the atmosphere, about whatever. And so this thing lands, and let's say the spaceships are out of the picture, and there's a record. I haven't really thought about this. Um, if we, are you saying if we got that back somehow, or if they did something with it and we got it back somehow, yeah. what, what form would it be, and how would we interpret that? Well, it could be, in, it could be that when we interpret it, it sounded the same, or mostly the same. And it was just a um, standard noise, trans, uh, uh, introduction of noise, for instance, you listen to shortwave radio stations and you hear those wonderful, wonderful sounds that they were the, among the original sounds that were used for uh, electronic composition. I mean, they're fantastic. Or they might have done stuff with it. If you assume that they've done something with it, then what would have they done with it? Change the frequency, more recording? Like, if we hear whales, we don't hear whales or dolphins. Thank you.
different listings come from the sea. Um, that's why you've caught me doing this a few times. So, um, we pretend that we hear them, we hear whale songs, and uh, no one actually hears that. People are literally, oh, so they are really high pitched after all, because we can hear them singing really high, but no, obviously that's not the case. We don't hear that. We trans, uh, transpose them down. So, perhaps they put it in to uh, something that's more suited to the atmosphere, the other, other conditions, uh, the temperature, I don't know, yeah, temperature, all those things, uh, all just the density of the air, for instance, um, and to their oral range. Perhaps they believe it is a photonic device, and they have a way of, and they really hate light, but they have a way of shining it onto a device that turns it into sound, and so it might be the same as, um, Sixteen thousand birds, you can stick out of the stuff. 
Here is an example here. That kind of pattern does not normally happen. Uh, the fact that the colors are kind of oddly placed and that there is sound representation that goes against time and with time means that it cannot be the result of computational failure or limitation of an algorithm. But it's rather the result of? Some, some kind of composition. Um, but you don't actually hear this. You, you see it. So I mean, you can go back to the question of vocoding and the question of deconvolution, I suppose. Okay. And think, think about what we started with that search for extraterrestrial intelligence people and wondered about what kinds of signals they might be getting and how they could be rendering them into something intelligible. So it was a process like deconvolution might either be something be something that they would employ. Deconvolution. With deconvolution, I'm not sure what it would consist of other than knowing what was going to start with, or at least predicting what was going to start with. God, I'm furnishing it. And that would be true if people had cameras as eyes as well. Um, deconvolution. Well, convolution is such a specific term. I could write it on the whiteboard, or I could use my hand and wave it. It looks like this. Does this make any sense whatsoever? 